Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome. Rick and I welcome you to Cooking with Nancy O. We have lots and lots to share with you today. Um, one is we did a huge harvest off of our towers and moved some plants around and started a third garden this weekend. And we're very excited to show it to you. But we're going to be talking about how to make lettuce soup and a BLT salad, which will make you feel like it's summertime. And um, on our tower, you can um, see where we have taken down the strawberries. I'm not seeing it. Um, the, we have in the center of the tower where the strawberries were, those are our, green, our snap peas and our green beans growing. And right where that empty area is where our strawberries were. And then on top, we did a big harvest of our baby greens because we wanted them to refresh. They were getting too big. And we've never done this before, so we're very excited. And then we did a huge harvest of our um, lettuce off of our second tower that's down in the basement. And we took all kinds of lettuces off and we have, um, there they are, our peppers are, I'm not our peppers, our tomatoes are on bottom doing really well. And then we shaved all of our lettuces up there and our kale. And we have all kinds of fun stuff that's gonna re-sprout. And then we, we put our indoor garden, it's a smaller garden up in actually our dining room of all places. And we moved our strawberry plants to it. And then we have extra spaces as those strawberry plants grow we will get runners from them and we'll gradually be able to fill that. But in the meantime, next week, we're going to show you how to plant some herbs and some seeds that we'll eventually put on that tower. You can see the strawberry there. And we have tons and tons of strawberries gro just growing. We have 10, 10 full plants. Is ten, that correct? Uh, nine, nine full and a little bitty. One. And a little guy who tried to not make it, but we babied him a little bit this weekend. So... Uh, sooner, soon we will have runner shooting from them and then we can fill that tower more so. But in the meantime, we're going to plant some herbs to put on it. So I'm very excited about this because over the weekend I ate one of the strawberries and I actually have two strawberries here. I'm going to let Rick have one and I'm going to have one. They are so delicious off of the tower. Like it? Very good. Very good. Can you imagine walking in your dining room and eating strawberries? I just cannot wait for that whole tower to be full of strawberries because I'm very, very excited about the strawberries and our grandkids love strawberries, so that's even more exciting. So today I'm gonna to share with you all these lettuces that we harvested off of the tower. Can you see this? I'm gonna start going through them and telling you all the different types we have. So. First of all, we, we cut a little bit of parsley and I'm literally going to take this and I'm going to dry it instead of using it fresh because I don't have any recipes for it right now. And I'll show you how to do that next week. We also cut cilantro down. And I'm very excited because I like having dry, dried cilantro on hand so when I don't have fresh, I can substitute with the dry. So we'll be drying that. This bag of kale is so good but my daughter put claims to it for a smoothie. So I guess I'll sacrifice my kale for her because um, she's asking for it, she gets it. Okay, cauliflower leaves. You know, I love putting these in my smoothies and my salads. Okay, I'm just passing these to Rick so we can clear the counter. We have two bags of gourmet lettuce here. Can you believe it? Now one bag's not quite full because we stole some out for our recipe. We have green wrap lettuce. We have two bags chuck full of green wrap lettuce. And you know what's going to happen to this lettuce if we can't eat it all? We're going to freeze it for our smoothies. A green bowl. It's called green bowl salad. We have bib lettuce here. We have leaf lettuce. We have more bib lettuce. Here, I'm just handing these all to Rick. Um, we have chard and this is so much fun because i want you to see how big this swiss chard got and this is a rainbow chard so this one and the, it'll just keep growing and getting bigger and bigger but we also have all this beautiful colored chard look at that and when you chop that up and put it in a salad 
oh my gosh, it's so beautiful in color. Um, yes, and then a whole nother bag of chart. Behind here, we have arugula. And this is a little peppery tasting. And I'm gonna give you some nutritional information on all these. So let me hand this to you. Let's see if you can carry that platter without dropping my sap, my Oops. greens. Oops, he dropped them. Not really. Okay, and this is our baby greens. This is the spicy baby greens. We ate the other baby greens already on the weekend. But I like adding spicy baby greens to my salad because it just adds a little more flavor. Okay, now I want to show you. That was all the lettuces that we did, but look at this. We had already used these lettuces out of all that. So we have enough lettuce to last us a full week here. We're also going to um, share some with our son because we are making a salad today that we're going to take to him because they are not feeling well at their house. So today I am very excited to talk to you about the nutritional value of all the, the lettuces we had. So we had green salad bowl, we had gourmet, bib, red uh, salad, lettuce, green wrap lettuce. Half of these I had never heard of before we started uh, growing on a tower. So the lettuce contains folate, folate uh, vitamins, vitamin A and vitamin K. And did you know that lettuce gives you almost your daily vitamin A? So if you ate a salad, you get almost your full day's worth of vitamin A. Also arugula. I want to talk a little bit about arugula because it's a little more spicy, uh, like peppery. And some people don't like it. I feel it makes a great staple in a salad because it's almost like a base. The nutritional value of the A, the C, the iron, and the calcium is not intense as other greens, but when you add it in with, oh yeah, there's some arugula here, which we do have in this one, that is so dark green, you are going to get a good, strong nutrient base and antioxidants going with the arugula salad. So if you mix it with the more nutrient-based options, you have a great combination. Yeah, this one was huge. And this one, this is more like what it looks like. The one, this one got really big. Some of it just grows so crazy. Okay, let's give you that. And it has a peppery taste. Some people don't like it, but what we did, we're going to make a lettuce soup for you today. And I'm really excited to do this because I have never had lettuce soup. And I thought this would be kind of fun to do. So what we took is inside of this bowl is, um, eight cups of lettuce. Now, the kinds of lettuce that I put in here is I started with arugula because I thought the peppery taste would be nice in the soup. Therefore, in the recipe, I cut back on the pepper a little bit until I taste it. Okay, we have green wrap lettuce and gourmet lettuce. So over on the stove, I had Rick over there sauteing some onions and a clove of garlic, and he did it in butter. Um, gives it a nice flavor, and he's now ready to add the salt, pepper, and coriander. So do you have that in there? Oh, I didn't hand it to you. See, I have to hand it to him. So I have a little bit of about a teaspoon of salt. Four, I only did a fourth a teaspoon of pepper because of the arugula, and then um, the coriander is three-fourths of a teaspoon. Yeah, bring it over. So he's gonna mix that in and in order to save a little time, I had him re um, to pre saute the garlic and onion just to save us a little bit of time. So now we're going to stir in. He has about a cup, do you have about a cup of potatoes over there? Oh, he says I have them over here. So what we did is we cut the potatoes small so they would cook a little faster. So we're gonna stir in a cup of uh, peeled potatoes where he's going to add the eight cups of lettuce I have here and about three cups of water. So did you want to add your water first? Okay, so we're going to add this in here. So now he's going to add this to the um, stove over there and he's going to simmer this for about 10 minutes until the potatoes are tender. After we get to a point that the potatoes are tender, we're going to put it in the blender and puree it. So while that's cooking, I wanted to take a few minutes to show you how to do a BLT salad. So you got that under control back there? Yep. Okay. So he says he's got it under control. We'll leave it up to him. 
So we're going to start with this bowl of green lettuce. And you know, I'm going to be real honest with you. When I put the recipe together, I said two cups of lettuce. And after I put it in the bowl, it just didn't look like enough. So we doubled it up. So now we're at four cups of lettuce. So I have some bib lettuce and some gourmet. I picked some lighter colors and some darker colors, which I think is just really um, adds lots of texture and color, you know, nice color to it. So um, now I'm just going to take it and I'm going to mix the tomatoes in. And what it also calls for is some um, slaw salad dressing. So when I went to the store, I looked for a light one. The Marzetti brand had no preservatives in it. And I'm using about a half a cup. I am not a big person uh, on a lot of dressing on my salads. You might want to add a little bit more. I think this is going to be enough for us. And we will mix this up and see. So we're just going to kind of gently toss the dressing on the salad. Sometimes I prefer using my hands when I'm doing things because I feel like I get a better control of it. I know that looks crazy, but, and I don't like my tomatoes on the bottom. Let's bring them back up to the top. Now, see, personally, I think this is too much dressing for me. So once again, you guys can do your dressing according to the way you want. So I think I would have put like half of that in and I had already cut the dressing down. But in the meantime, we're going to take 12 bacon strips and we're going to just cover this salad with bacon. See how yummy that looks? And I'm not even using all the bacon because it looks like enough. And then some cheese right on top of that and you have a BLT salad. So we were talking before we went live and Rick and I were thinking, you know what? I bet a little bit of that cilantro would have tasted good in here. How's that look, Rick? Oh, it looks good. I know. And guess what we forgot to do again? We forgot to get our our forks, and I'm gonna get a little plate for him to eat off of. We always forget the forks for sampling, guys. So let's see what Rick thinks of my BLT salad. I think I'm gonna add more lettuce uh, to it so it's not so, have so much dressing. I know, I'm gonna get in there with you. I know you have to have bacon in your in your bite. And you know it's okay to have a little bit, bit of bacon once in a while. So all in moderation. I'm not sure about that. Take another bite. He's gonna try another bite to see if he likes it for sure. I think he does. Okay. So now we are going to check on our soup over there. How's it cooking? Stop it's eating. I think he liked it. I have to get him to stop eating so he can check on his soup. I have to go and put it on the other boiler. Why? And can Manny see that though? Uh, he moved the pot on our photographer. So now this photographer can't get a shot of our soup. So now what are we going to do with the sous chef, right? Here he goes. That looks really good. How's it smell? Smells good. Okay. Got a little weight. A little bit more. Okay. Potatoes. So it still has about five minutes to go with the potatoes. So let's get um, talking about some other things here today that we can help you with. So we are looking for some ideas on what you would like us to grow in our tower. So we have a bunch of um, herbs downstairs and vegetables. And so on. we're going to be here on Monday next week. And I am going to show you how to do the whole process of planting the plants and how they get started. And I thought that you guys would really enjoy something like that and we'll throw in an extra um, recipe while we're doing that. The other thing is if you had um, any questions about the vegetables that you can grow. So we're gonna concentrate on some herbs because I struggle with my herbs when they get outside in the heat. I tend to forget to water them because I put them in containers. On the tower, I don't have to worry about them. I'm also going to plant some other vegetables to get some spinach going. I noticed that we didn't have any spinach planted. And you can't 
have a nutritional salad without spinach. So we're going to get some spinach going and a few other things we're going to try indoors. Now, I, um, I, I totally forgot what I was going to say because I lost my train of thought because I was thinking about the soup back there. <laughs> but um, I'm very excited to start getting the runners off of my strawberries and fill that tower because those strawberries are really good. And if you grew a tower just of strawberries, can you imagine how wonderful that would be? Because that's what I plan on doing. And now let me check on Rick and his soup back there. How, how's it looking? Because we're going to put it through the blender and puree it. Ready? I think he's ready to bring it over and puree it. Okay. That sounded like he was ready. Okay. We're going to pull the blender up. Let me move the salad over so you guys can see what this is going to look like. And the other thing is I am looking for anyone who is interested in helping others become healthy. I have gotten so much great feedback. Don't feel great. I have gotten so much. He tried to pour that hot stuff into a glass container and I didn't want it to break. Sorry, guys. Um, anyway, I am looking for someone who might be uh, interested in helping others be healthy. I would love for you to uh, contact me because I think this is the most fun I have ever had in my life. And I used to bake for a living, guys. And I'm really enjoying learning about all these vegetables and what I can grow on that tower. I um, have, yeah, we can do half. I have eaten vegetables I have never heard of before. And they had this so exciting to me. We're going to blend this a little bit. So hang on. Okay, we got the other pot over here. Let me grab it. Okay, we're going to transfer this into another pot because what we're going to do is we're going to add some just a little more butter to it. You guys, I don't want you freaking out about the butter I'm using because it's going to add a good flavor and it also is, um, it's better for you than using non-butter type things. So he's dripping on the, all over the counter here. We got him. Okay, ready, set. Here he goes. So this is not taken any time at all. I bet the prep time for this, more. you get more? Potatoes. Oh, potatoes. I bet this has taken a total of 20 minutes to make this soup. We did this live while we were talking with you. And all we had to do is pre-chop lettuce and onions, with, which isn't hard to do. And I just want to share with you guys, you guys don't have to have the best of everything to be cooking with. It's just, you know, make do with what you have and just make it count. Okay. He's going to take that back to the stove and we're going to add just a, a tablespoon of butter to that. And then we're going to see if it needs some more salt and pepper. And look at how fast and easy that soup looks. Need a spoon to see how this one is. He's got a big old spoon over there to sample it. Did you guys see that? Okay. Did you put the butter in? Yeah. That's all there is to the soup. Let's put it over here. And now I have salt and pepper right here. We can see if it needs it and taste it. I'm very excited about this one because I have never heard of lettuce soup. And what a great way to use up lettuce here. It's got to taste really good. Oh my gosh. It does not need more salt and pepper in my eyes. Is it yours? I'd put a little more in. Okay. He would put a little more salt and pepper. I would not. So that's why it says salt and pepper to taste. So guys, I challenge you to try this recipe because it was so easy to do. And if you want it thicker, you yeah, you could cook it longer and maybe it would thicken up. I personally would save the soup and have it tomorrow because I feel like when you cook soups, the flavors blend in the next day. They're really, really good. So I am reaching out to all of you to ask you if you love to stay healthy and you love to eat wonderful, nutritious. The, the lettuces off of this tar garden are just chock full of nutrients. 
And I just want to know, are you ready to help someone be healthy? If you are, reach out to me. And Rick and I would love to get you started on your journey of helping other people because we are so pleasantly surprised what we happened upon just a couple of years ago. And we want to tell the world about it. So, and you guys have a great weekend. I know we are. And until Monday, remember, we're back on Monday next week instead of Tuesday. And we will see you then and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye for now. Bye.